Hello everyone and welcome to European Piano Tutorials for Beginners. In this video we are going to learn our entertainer's last line with both hands. So this will be very last line finally and we will be joining with both hands today. So we've done it previously with separate hands in the previous video. So this will be joining of both hands. So before doing this video please watch the previous video and learn it well with uh, separate hands so you know how to play the last line with separate hands then you will be ready for this one okay so we will be starting with our right hand on the C I will not say any fingers so I assume you already maybe I'll say some of the fingers but I assume uh, you already know all your fingers that we've learned in previous videos so please do your homework properly now we are going to start with the right hand on the note C and we will prepare the first chord on C, E and G in left. So we are ready in advance. Always be preparing in advance, remember. So right hand does first two notes, C, D. Then when right plays E, left enters with the chord and plays together with the right on E, that chord on C, E and G. C here, then right goes C, D, E. Then left plays next chord on E, B flat, C. Then right goes C, D, C and then when right goes to next E we are playing F, A and C in left like that so we will only do that bar a bit so you see right hand again C, D on E we play chord in left then left moves to the next chord play the chord then right goes C, D, C and then together with E we have the next chord okay so one bar only like that so we do it few times again C, D, E with the chord then left chord on E, B flat and C then right C, D, C then on E left goes the next chord like that okay so then you repeat it few times like that Again, even a bit slower maybe and very loose hands always relax and always prepare in advance see slowly and there we stop then we're going to do the second bar so second bar starts as we just stop there left goes four on F left two on A one on C and F A C chord so then right goes three on E there so right goes together with the left right then C D E then left goes to the minor version of that chord which is F A flat and C and then right C D C then left goes on G C E preparing and right preparing on E then they go together there see like that so second bar again left A F, F A and C right on E there then left F, A flat and C, preparing, not playing yet, then play, then right on C, D, C, and then left G, C, E, and right on E together. That's the beginning of the last bar, not last bar, the third bar of the line. So now play the whole second bar, and you play it a few times like that, until you are fluent, then left, right, 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 and again we do it few times every bar until you're really fluent okay so like that again and there again okay so then once you're fluent with the second bar then we can join the first bar and second bar together okay so we go again from the upbeat from the last two notes of previous line on C and D there then we go remember you relax enough to touch in every key and always using the active tips there so you just take the key and immediately relax okay again and then I'll say the notes again all together so you remember both bars so right goes C D then left repairs on C E and G right goes on E together with that chord then right goes on C D E left goes E B flat C then right C D C then left F A C and right on E together then right C D E then left 
write F, F, A flat and C, then write C, D, C, then left G, C, E, and write on E there, okay? Like that. And then we repeat it without saying the notes. You can just practice it. You can copy my hands, but remember the notes as well. So, like that. repeat it few times until you're very fluent with that section now we are ready for the third bar and we will do third and fourth bars together because the last bar is only three notes in left which is C, G and C and right just holds the notes so it's you know no point to learn just the last bar so it's very easy now we're going to do bar three so left hand prepares on G, C and E again I'm not saying fingers today because I assume you already learned it in the previous video so do not blame me if I don't say the fingers you just can copy them but please study the previous video we went through all the fingers there and then you just remember them from there now right goes on E and left on G, C and E there so right goes on E and then right on C, D, E then left on G then right B and then left C and right C together and right holds and left plays G then left plays C there at the end like that okay so bar three again left G C E right E together then right C D E then left three on G right on B then right on D then wait and right together with left on C and C there okay so again bar three so again bar 3 so we go left G C E prepared right on E then right goes C D E then left on G then right on B on D and then they both play C's together right and left then right holds and left plays G and left plays C while right holds on your C okay so now I'll just play without saying any notes a couple of times so that's how you should know it before you join the whole line together so bar three again okay and again one more time a bit slower those last two bars well then you can join the whole line so now also notice in left hand how you hold your chord you play them and hold just before you have to play the next chord and before you play the next chord prepare your fingers on the next chord and left and and right always okay never just go and jump like that you're gonna miss it sometimes so you have to play the chord lift it then prepare the next note and play the notes well okay like that then prepare the next note and play then prepare the next and play then prepare the next Play there and there and then all prepared like that okay so I'm just going over left just to show you because left has those jumps so you must always keep in mind you have to lift the previous chord just a little bit away prepare next notes of the next chord then play so you can have a little gap there okay never jump 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 from the chord you know like that like that that's not gonna work uh, sometimes you know most of the times because you're gonna have you know to take extra risks and when you go fast that will miss so you always have to know your fingers are there before playing I always emphasize it okay so and again now uh, we will do whole line together we've done all the bars and now we join a complete line together I'll just play it uh, first without saying notes and then I'll say the notes as well so Okay, so C, D, then left C, E, G as we did, right E, then right C, D, E, then left E, B flat C, right C, D, C, then left F, A, C, right E, prepare and play, then right C, D, E, left F, A flat C, right C, D, C, left G, 
C E and write E together, then write C D E, then left G, right B D, then C and C in left and right together, then right hold and left does G and then C. Okay, so then I'll just uh, show you a little bit slower without saying any, no uh, saying any notes. So all together it goes like that, a little bit slower. Also try to make the melody and the bass a little bit different, so your right hand is a bit louder and left hand a bit softer and left hand is a bit longer, so not very passive like that and right, so not detached, but right is like a singing voice, singing through and left just like a background also singing but soft, okay, we'll have another separate video about the, you know, balance between hands, just I want to mention it today a bit, but uh, yes, so now we do all the line together one more time slowly again and then you lift okay so this will be all for that line, so you just play it as we did today, this is a joining both hands video, so you do it bar by bar and then repeat every bar until you're fluent, then you repeat the whole line until you're fluent. Before this again I will repeat, please learn the separate hands well, because sometimes people want to take shortcuts, they learn both and it's not as effective that way, you know, you will always have more mistakes and it will take you longer to learn when you just start and later if you learn like many many pieces you already know how to you know play well and you don't have to then do as much separate hands but only on the most difficult you know sections sometimes but I recommend always to know separate hands very well so please do your homeworks properly learn your separate hands then you do both hands and then just repeat every bit what we did today in this video and you'll see your last line will be getting better and better and better. So this will be all for this video and in the next video we'll be joining all the lines of entertainer with separate hands and then in the next video it will be complete entertainer with both hands. We'll talk about a little bit more about character, about dynamics, how to make it more fun but this is just a video about connecting and joining both hands together for the first time. So please just repeat enough times and you will get it and do not stop until you're fluent and this is the formula for you just repeat and repeat and repeat however many times it takes you until you get it do not give up don't think it's too difficult it's not too difficult because only people who you know will quit before getting to their desired quality they will not achieve their desired result because they just didn't repeat enough times okay so this is the very simple thing to understand but lots of people don't realize how important it is because some people will try 10 20 times they think ah oh, it's so difficult i can't do it i'm not saying only about this piece but just in general you know about learning piano some people feel it's difficult and they quit but some people will think yeah doesn't matter i'll make some mistakes today again tomorrow again tomorrow they will never quit until they got the results so this is your attitude okay this is your mental like uh, you know strength of being able to repeat as many times as you need until you get it so use this formula and you will get it i'm very sure of that so thank you so much for watching this will be all for this video i will see you next one where we will be joining our entertainer with both hands okay again if you like subscribe and like and bye bye for now